this tutorial, I want to look at how I can um, put a sheet metal across these three faces here. Um, there are a couple of options. Um, you could use um, thickened surface, um, copying these three surfaces, um, or doing a thin part to sheet metal or a convert to sheet metal. Um, but I don't want these other faces, so that just makes that a little bit tricky. And the thin part doesn't work because of the sort of complex angles. So you can see we've got sort of a um, angles going in all directions. So just thickening it puts um, some very weird angles on the edges, and that means that we can't um, uh, convert it to sheet metal. So I'm going to start with um, putting a plane on this edge here. Um, I'm just going to position it halfway down and then I'm going to use a console flange and if I use the projector sketch I can pick up on these first two faces and um, I'm just going to stretch it out so that I am coming beyond the edges um, so that when I trim it back there's sort of no worries about a um, manifold body or anything like that. So that's finishing the um, sketch. Um, so we will specify 3 mil thickness coming away from the um, part and I'll use symmetric and just go well beyond. So from here um, I am just going to use a normal cutout and I'll do each side separately. And again, using the um, projector sketch allows me to just come in here and um, get these edges here. And because it's an open profile, we have to specify the size side and we just project it in both directions. And then we can do the same on the other side. both directions so that gives me my um, first two faces um, all nicely tightly um, positioned in. So for the final one I want to use the contour flange again. So I'm just going to come off that inside edge and um, zero distance along that face and like we did before we can just include um, this face using projector sketch and I'm going to use the two end option on this to um, bring that down to that point and finally the uh, normal cutout again gives me the ability to trim this back um, using the Project sketch. So if I just use these two edges on here and close the sketch. So there are my um, three faces. I can hide that just so that you can see this a little bit more clearly. And obviously, the um, final step is to just do a flatten. And as you can see, we're now able to flatten out this model. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you have any more um, queries or how you like to see how things done, please get in touch.